This work was motivated when he observed strange generalization performance of a model trained on NIH data applied to the Patches dataset. The model trained on NIH data predicted pneumonia and consolidation better on the Patches dataset while predicting infiltration much worse when compared to the NIH dataset itself. An online post discussed that having these labels distinct from each other feels awkward and prompted us to study the issue more. There are many publicly available datasets now for us to work with. Most use automatic labeling to assign labels to each image given a retrospective radiology report, and a few are manually labeled by hand. Samples from the NIH dataset were relabeled in the Kaggle and Google datasets so we can look at their agreement. Here we see the confusion matrices for images which were labeled by two of the datasets. Overall, there is poor agreement even when both were manually labeled. How to compare labels across datasets with no shared images? We can train models on one dataset and evaluate their predictions on the others. We perform this evaluation using all publicly available datasets and sort the results by average generalization performance per task. We find task-specific agreement. The tasks at the top generalize very well, and at the bottom, they do not. We typically model PY given X and may blame poor generalization performance on a shift in X, aka covariate shift. But this would not account for why some Ys generalize well. A possible reality is that there is some shift in Y, aka concept shift, which would force us to condition the prediction on the data set. But this is not desirable because we want objective predictions based on evidence in the data. So what could be causing this shift? Possibly errors in labeling due to automatic labelers, or discrepancy between radiologists, clinicians, and automatic labelers' understanding of the same radiology report. Or possibly biases in clinical practice, such as anchoring, framing, or attribution bias. Or even possibly inter-observer variability, which would be similar to how a football classifier trained in the United States cannot possibly generalize to the rest of the world because these concepts are different from each other. We may think that training on local hospital data is addressing covariate shift. This experiment looks at training on local data only in blue, using only external data from the other data sets in orange, and using both local and external in green. The external data contains many more samples than the local data, yet combining it with the local data provides almost the same performance as training on the local data alone. This may imply that the model is only adapting to local biases of the data set and not necessarily addressing covariate shift. Another way to study concept shift is to train a network where each data set has their own task outputs. For five domains and 18 tasks, this results in 90 network logistic outputs. We call the weights of the logistic function for each task a task vector. We can regularize the vectors corresponding to the same task but over the different data sets to be similar using a squared error. Differences between these task vectors mean that for the same feature vector, a different prediction must be made. Otherwise, the difference would be zero to minimize the regularization term. This implies that differences between the data sets during training have caused the network to diverge in its representation of a task and produce different results. Here, each task vector is shown in 2D using PCA. On the right, we can see that the tasks cluster together and some clusters are tighter than others. Looking at the average distances between task vectors over multiple runs, we can see that some tasks are often grouped tighter than others. This implies these tasks are more conserved across datasets. To conclude, the community may want to focus on concept shift over covariate shift in order to improve generalization. It also seems that better automatic labeling may not be the answer. One idea is to consider each task prediction as defined by its training data, such as NIH pneumonia or Chexpert edema each possibly providing a unique biomarker. The output of multiple models can be presented to the user at the same time. And finally, it does not seem like a solution to train on local data from a hospital. Thank you.